Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to give you my review of the 4K digital version of Adam Devine in Jexy. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, I put out videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd at Movie Guy 365 as well as over at the Dizzy Magic Art Podcast. I will leave a link for that in the description. All right, so today I'm going to review the 4K digital version of Adam Devine starring in Jexy. It's basically about a uh, computer AI program, much like Siri or like Google Assistant or something, that basically is kind of a dick. Um, but it's 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 told in all good fun. There's a little bit of serious moments here and there, but I think for the most part, it's really playing up for laughs. So uh, we're going to review the 4K digital version. Now there's going to be no physical 4K release for this one, just a standard Blu-ray, which I will review separately. So stay tuned for that one. So we're just going to talk about the 4K digital version, which is currently available on iTunes and Vudu. All right. So as far as the picture quality goes, I feel that overall it's a very nice, clean image. There weren't any special filmmaking techniques or camera filters that they utilize for this film. It's a straight up, uh, you know, current digital kind of uh, filmmaking. So it has an overall very clean image. Their colors are pop out really, really nicely. The Dolby Vision adds that extra layer of depth as far as black levels go, detailing, and that you know, enhanced color pop. It all looks really good here. It shows off the, uh, the landscape and the setting of San Francisco really nicely. Nighttime scenes look especially good and, and really clear. You know, you get that lighting against the backdrop of the darkness, and it looks really, really nice. Uh, as far as like, you know, interior shots, uh, there's a few of those darker areas here and there, but for the most part, it's, you know, it's a well-lit room, so you don't really hit those dark, dark black levels all that much except for nighttime scenes. Now, level of details, well, one of the things that really shine here, as I mentioned, the aesthetics of the city show off really, really nicely. And if you look closely, you can see a scene or, or uh, uh, out, um, a uh, outdoor shot of the same uh, apartment area where Venom was shot. I, I actually, when I saw this in the theater, I recognized that right away. But yeah, things like that, buildings and so forth and so on, look really, really nice. They add that extra level of detail, which I really appreciate when uh, Dolby Vision can you know utilize that properly. And as far as color pop, yeah, as I mentioned, the, the lights of the city at night look really spectacular. Just general lighting in in, um, in general look really nice. You know, things like traffic lights and just the uh, overall enhancement of color to begin with looks really good. I think uh, Dolby Vision does a fine job here. No issues whatsoever. I think uh, just overall a very pleasing, but just kind of standard straight-laced image. As I said, no camera filters or anything were applied. So it's, it's you got that pure digital cleanliness of the overall picture. Uh, as far as audio goes, nothing to really write home about. It's a Dolby Digital 5.1, and it's mostly used for ambience. And of course, there's a few moments where they really utilize those uh, surround speakers. Mostly like a car whizzing by your head or something like that. Or uh, I think a couple times that the, art, the AI uh, a voice would play behind you and just th that sort of effects are being used. So I feel overall the surround sound aspect is done really, really well here. Uh, front channels, that's where the bulk of your action goes. You get, you get a bit of that um, cl clean sound coming through your center channel speakers, no problems with understanding dialogue whatsoever, and your, your fronts do a fairly good job. And as far as your LFB, occasionally kicks in once or twice. A lot of it are musical cues, that sort of thing, really are where you get that. There's like, you know, where they're at a club or something, uh, there is that oomph that you get through the LFE and you really feel it. For the most part, it's kind of restrained, and I think for generally a comedy, that's how it should be. So it's just it's just a, 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 your average audio track, but I think you, you get that extra ambiance through the general surround sound stage. It sounds nice, so it's pretty overall pleasing, uh, you know, picture and audio quality. So I'm going to go ahead and give the audio, or I'm sorry, the uh, picture quality of the Dolby Vision on Jexy. I'll give that a solid B+. It's a very clean image, no issues whatsoever. I just had an overall good experience watching this uh, utilizing iTunes. And as far as audio goes, I'm going to give that one a C+. I think it's nothing to really write home about, but it's a it's a good overall track. It's just average. It doesn't really offer anything, you know, demo worthy, but it, once again, it's a comedy. You, you get so much. But yeah, I enjoy Jexy. Look for my Blu-ray review in a couple weeks or so. And in the meantime, let me know in the comments section what you thought of the film and if you had a chance to check it out. Okay, so please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.